guys. Hello. Nice to see you both. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, so as some as two people that have gone to the Olympics before and I've never been, um, or speaking to two people that have been to the Olympics, um, I was just kind of interested to hear some of your experiences from previous Olympics and what it feels like and everything like that. So I've got a few questions for you guys. And then you could share some memories, maybe? Yeah, yeah that good. sounds good. <laughs> okay, so my first question is the first part of space you get selected which is amazing and you have all those photos and everything and what's the kitting out day like because it looks so much fun so you all like go up north or wherever it is to this massive like i don't know exhibition center or something and it's insane isn't it you like yeah. go through the doors and everything that you can see is like team gb team gb and there's all these photos up and yeah and it's kind of a bit of a weird experience isn't it you go you get given these like um big trolleys um and then you just get given like bags and bags and bags of kit and you get to try everything on so you can see yeah. which size you are and yeah you get and like, obviously your own, like personal shopper as well that's there and when yeah. like, when you go in it's just like team gb everywhere and it really yeah. it's the kind of start of it and it yeah. just makes you feel like oh my god this is like the journey now it's starting yeah. And yeah. you go in and there's loads of little cool things um, that you can do. There's like a little games bit. There's, um, I remember there was like a karaoke bit and um, all the sponsors are there as well. And they all set up their own little stalls. And you get loads of freebies, which, you know, yeah. who doesn't Everyone love a freebie? freebie. <laughs> Everyone yeah. loves a freebie. And, and, you'd, and as well, because Karen and I were in the eight. So there's nine girls all going around together, just like, what? this is amazing yeah. yeah it was really fun and like try just mm. try on everything um but yeah it was good it was really good fun and some of the outfits you're like what <laughs> this is gonna be the closing ceremony outfit or this is gonna you know and you're kind of like it makes everything feel really real doesn't it yeah um and different to like a normal um kit day because you know if you're going to the world that is super exciting and you, you know you get your bag of kit and stuff but this is like next level it's like kit day on steroids you know you're kind of like <laughs> everything is branded mm. everyone is so friendly there's all these staff all around the place they're just like yeah. there to make you have a great day and it is so much fun and i remember at the end because alda is one of the the sponsors you then you've got this big shopping trolley with all your mm. things in it and you go and you put them all on the checkout yeah and they, they like swipe it through as if you're actually like you you've been shopping but like food yeah. shopping yeah. and they put it all through and then you put it all in your basket and um or your trolley and then off you go so yeah there's nice little touches um which kind of really makes the day so it's yeah it's loads and loads of fun when you're uh, in the olympic village do you just wear kit I mean, you don't wear your own stuff really at all. Um, and then it's quite cool because you've got um, like days. So it's like blue day or white day or red day. Um, and so it means that we all look like pretty sharp, pretty smart um, because we're right. always wearing the same gear. So um, all wear the same colour. Yeah, yeah, which is quite nice. Well, I really like it. Yeah, no, I do as well. Because think... you look like a full team rather than... Yeah. You know, it, it's easy with our kit because the, there's different variations. So you kind of sometimes look like you're different countries, even yeah. though you're... And um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. You look sharp. Another question I've got is, so travelling to the Games, you go with BA, don't you? And is it the plane is full of all the athletes from different sports and everything? Or is it just rowers? Um, I think we... as. Correct me if I'm wrong, Polly, but I think we travelled out, all the teams travel out on different days. Right. Um, I think there was some kind of people that went out before and they were doing like a holding camp out there. But we, I actually can't remember how long, maybe like 10 days or maybe two weeks before the Olympics started. That's when we travelled out and we travelled as like the rowing team. Yeah. Um, because I remember actually being on the flight and there being other people, like normal people, on the flight so yeah I think everybody kind of just does what's best for them um, but we definitely travelled as like a rowing team together okay. yeah and there was a few other sports there and my mum and dad were in uh, oh yeah. as well yeah I remember that <laughs> yeah she, my mum was like oh when are you uh, travelling 
over our dates um and she was like oh us too and pete reed bless him went and gave him all his like so we were put up in business class you know which was the bee sneeze it was amazing no. <laughs> um my first time traveling business and I was like oh I could get used to this and it was a blessed Pete Reed would like take his little free champagnes and take it to my mom and you know um it was really quite sweet and it's nice because you know the, the people who are just off on their holidays or whatever are all quite excited about the fact that you're all on the t- you know one big team all going together I actually quite liked that it was just a normal flight I don't know about you Karen but um yeah, I thought it was quite cute, cool. Um, so we had a few other sports, I think, um, travel with us. Um, but it's the way on the way back, which is the um, uh, you know, the 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 real deal where you've got the it was a gold gold nose, wasn't it? Um, yeah. BA and the jet. flight number was um like BA twenty sixteen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah yeah that was really cool and then that's just the whole team and and that was mad because you know you had like the hockey girls had just won that they just finished and won their goals so they were all like ah, the whole flight, whole flight um and then you've got people like us who have been partying for like a week and we're all a bit like jaded <laughs> just need to yeah. sleep <laughs> but yeah. yeah that one was cool it, yeah it, it was good definitely for us but I actually like part of me felt quite sorry for like it's great because we we went there and we got a silver medal and you know that was brilliant and that was fantastic and such a great experience but I really felt for the ones that you know went there and maybe didn't um get to where they wanted to yeah or get a medal and they were um just in like the normal like economy uh, seating and I mean don't get me wrong I think they had like a great time you know I remember going down and having a little like visit of some of our other rowers and um, I think few of the, a few of the divers were actually had like the um, the air hostess kit on and they were like going <laughs> along with the trolleys and you know there is like alcohol flowing and... it's the only way to travel <laughs> yeah it's great I wish I could do that every time yeah <laughs> yeah oh, that and it's like... cool because you get to like meet I don't know about you Kaz but I was sat next to Tom Daly so I was just like chatting his head off I'm sure he just wanted me to be quiet but I was like oh my goodness what's diving like you know what's it like being a super celebrity and <laughs> all this kind yeah. of stuff yeah, yeah. I, was, um, I sat next to Dina Asia Smith and oh cool it was oh. obviously when she wasn't kind of as big time as what she is now and we just had like a great chat because I, I was sitting like that way and she was sat that way and we had mm. our little um, screen that goes up and down and yeah we were both just chatting about how the Olympics was for us and she obviously got that bronze medal in the relay and it, yeah it was really good and it was so nice to see how she's come on from that and mm. what she said that she wanted to do you know she's she's gone and she's done that so it's really good to kind of yeah meet other people and mm. and chat to them. That's really cool. It's nice and to hear do... other athletes' experiences as well, because obviously they train as hard as we do, and so it's nice to hear how they train and like the sort of training they do and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. I think it's also cool because you definitely feel like Karen was saying. You know, you've got the ups and downs. Um, you know, people who've won gold, people who've won a medal, people it's the first Olympics, people who maybe it's their last, um, um, maybe people who haven't achieved what they've wanted. But you've got all of that all in one team, and and you do feel yeah. part of a team, which is yeah, very different when we're we're not in Olympic year or not not at the Olympics, yeah. and and it's cool because you kind of get to know these people that you never would have met otherwise. Um, yeah. And then there's you know events afterwards, and you get you're like oh right mate, how's it going and and yeah. you do feel part of something bigger and a bit more special and um it, I guess that's what's kind of addictive about it isn't it I don't know about you guys yeah. but I I find the whole Olympics experience is a bit like a drug it just felt like w- it, everything was in you know technicolor and everything was like every emotion was so vivid and um you know part of that was being part of this wider team and and you know it yeah it it's it's kind of I'm not doing a very good at job of describing it but it's undescribable kind of yeah. the way it makes you mm. feel um yeah. it does sound really cool I can only imagine 
like the feel like I'm just absolutely I'm so excited to get there one day and <laughs> I just can't wait for that feeling of also like because you're because you worked so hard you're like proud of yourself that you're there mm-hmm. and so everything is just amazing and on top of the world almost like you've almost completed it <laughs> you know it's, it's amazing and then you go on to completed another the world <laughs> you gotta do it all <laughs> over again <laughs> yeah so another question. So what is it like in the village, like before, during and after the games? Obviously, rowing is like the first event to go and it starts before the opening ceremony, I think. Uh, so, but what's what's like, what's it all like? What's the atmosphere like and everything? Um, so we were actually, we didn't stay in the village before or during our competition um, at the Olympics. We had like a hotel that wasn't that far from the rowing course so I thought we were really really lucky and that we didn't you know because I think the village was actually quite far away from where the rowing was so and the traffic was just you just never knew what the traffic was going to be like in Rio so it could have taken you maybe like half an hour to get there one day and then potentially an hour or an hour and a half to get there another day so we were really lucky that we could walk to the course within like 20 minutes or get like a little mini bus that took us about five ten minutes to get there so we were very much like in our little bubble in our little team and you know we had our job to do and we I think before the game started we went and we took a trip to the village and had a little look around and that was really cool um something really to look forward to after our competition and that was great that we were allowed to then go into the village and have yeah. that whole experience after we'd competed. When you're a kid, you think of an Olympic athlete and you think of this like, you know, sculpted, muscular, tall, incredible, pe- you know, incredible people. And it really struck me that, you know, Olympians <coughs> of all shapes and sizes, ages, yeah. you know, heights, whatever, because that, and that's just so cool because, sport is you know all encompassing and these yeah. people are all the best in the world and in their countries of, at what they do um and yet we all look completely different from each other um yeah. and we all have these incredible talents that are totally different from each other um and so yeah you would walk and you'd hear all the different languages being spoken and um yeah, it, it was just, you know, you could kind of spot, I don't know, the boxers from the sort of lanky rowers, from like the sprinters who are just like sheer muscle. Um, and yeah, that re- I found that really cool and very uh, like inspiring. You go in there and it's great for people watching and you, you know, yeah. you can just just look at Every, everyone around you and you just guess which sport that they would do um like obviously the tall ones you'd be like well they're definitely basketball players and you know it's it was really cool just seeing the range of athletes that were there i think the organizers also make a really big job of everybody you know team gb supporting team gb so yeah. um you know there'll be announcements of who who's got big finals on and and you know um yeah they said let, let them know about the tickets and like oh guys you've got to try and get tickets for this that the other um it, yeah it was just it was cool it was a really just insane thing to be part of i think yeah for both of you what is your best experience of the olympics probably my most favorite moment was when we were on the podium and you're really close to the crowd. And it's mad because so many um, Team GB supporters come and it's it's like, I mean, I've been in the sport since I was 13, 14. Um, so I know a lot of people, I know a lot of the parents of like the team involved, but also there's just like people come over and, and, and support you and you're not expecting it. So you just mm-hmm. see this like swathe of people um really close and they're all cheering and just have like such incredible faces and you're like oh my goodness they're here for me because yeah. we did well <laughs> and, and it, it was kind of overwhelming and I remember so vividly thinking in that moment okay so yes we've got a silver medal and okay yes there is a gold medal but I remember being like I could not be physically happier than in this moment right here right now mm. um and for me that was yeah my moment of the games just seeing like the 
elation on everyone's faces and then you know just feeling so proud that I was part of this thing yeah you know this group of nine women and they were so much more than just me on my own you know finishing off this project that you've created for however well for us it was actually probably many years of all these um women that came before us and just finishing it off and doing everyone proud and and I think yeah I I guess I've not got a specific favorite memory because everything was just amazing and yeah the people there and my my parents I was lucky enough that my parents were there to see it all and I think yeah what Polly said about just having that moment with the people that have supported you through it all um, and for them to be able to like see you do what you've always wanted to do um that's really special I think one big thing for me is my parents being having my parents be proud of me I think that's like obviously I'll be proud but I want my parents to be proud as well so <laughs> your parents are already proud of yeah. you oh, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> um, it is yeah, I, it is I, cool I just, though yeah there's some um it's a bit weird in the footage of um our race there's more shots of my mum uh, than there is of us actually racing if you watch it on youtube it's for some reason it, like pans to my mum the whole time yeah. and you know the first section she's like what is going on <laughs> because we're last and you know i think we were favorites for medal um and she, it just keeps panning to her and she's like oh. you know they <laughs> totally mucked it up like what is going on anyway and then we start we like start building our wind and like we're going we're coming we're just picking off crews and picking off crews and then she's like getting more and more excited um okay next question and it's about uh rowers can't go to the opening ceremony i don't think because you've already started but like what's the closing ceremony like i saw that you all had like really flashy shoes and i thought that was really cool (laughs) um so like how's that is that just another big party (laughs) It's, do you know what I actually felt like for once I actually was like oh this is must what this must be what it's like to be a footballer like what because it was like a huge big stadium and you like walk out obviously there's like loads of other people on the kind of um kind of floor there as well but the stands are just so full and there's just people everywhere and I just thought wow this is like huge um, yeah. but yeah it was like one big yeah one big party um yeah it was really cool and you yeah you've all got your matching outfits on yeah you, everyone's like okay let's switch our shoes on now and then you get the little button and you, <laughs> we've all got our flashy shoes on and that's when you find out maybe that one shoe works and the other shoe doesn't <laughs> <laughs> but no it, it was really great <clears throat> obviously you're in the stadium you've done your wee like parade and you're in the stadium sat down and you almost can't hear what's going on because obviously the speakers are to the crowd. So you can see everything yeah. and you're like immersed in it. Um, but you're like not quite sure what's going on because you can't kind of hear. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool because you are like enveloped by the performance that's going on. Um, and then afterwards, it basically just turns into this like massive carnival oh, because yeah. it's finished. And then yeah. all the athletes like, from all the countries are all in there um and it's just yeah this like melting pot of craziness um and you know people playing drums and we were all there was all these different outfits that um, Mm -hmm. the dancers would come along we would like put them on so I'd be like dressed up as a broccoli (laughs) I think I saw that (laughs) someone else is dressed up as like a pineapple and um yeah it was just it's just great isn't it um And yeah, with the opening ceremony, so we don't go as rowers, but um, it was really cool. We did like our own little opening ceremony. So we all got dressed up in the gear and then went to the GB um, house. So each each country has their own sort of little base. Um, And it means that, you know, we can go and meet friends and family and stuff like that there. Um, so we had a wee ceremony there and then got tucked up into bed nice and early because we had races. Yeah. So. Um, but it's still, you know, it's just little things like that. They like, you make, sh- they make sure that you just feel part of it, even though, yeah, yeah okay. Like always competition takes precedence and always everything is geared up for you to perform at your absolute peak on the day that you need to. Um, but also you feel part of this wider thing. So it gives you the impetus to, to shine on your day. Um, 
and I, I really like that about the Olympics. It does, you know, initially my anticipation was like, oh, it's just another rowing race. And that's how I kept myself calm. But yeah. and, and it is just another rowing race, you know, and um, we've done them thousands of times before. But there is something just that bit more special about being part yeah. of an Olympics. Oh, I just can't wait. <laughs> Georgie, you can have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> One other thing I think yeah. is quite cool to um, share, and I know it's not really part of your question, but I suppose like I'd like to impart this knowledge on you. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's really important to like acknowledge athletes' nerves, and <clears throat> you know this is the one of the biggest days of your life. You're kind of gearing up for your Olympic final for years and years and years and years. Um, <clears throat> and I remember this being sat on the on the start line, and I was so nervous, like I couldn't eat my porridge in the morning I couldn't like look at people properly in the eye I was like trying trying all these different techniques of like you know psyching myself up and I just we got to the start line and we'd done our like I would say like relatively shoddy Mm. (laughs) warm-up and um you're sat there and you know you're one of six boats all lined up and everyone looks like at the peak of their game you know they're so muscular and and you feel your legs feel weak and you your lungs feel small and you feel like you're just you're not going to be able to like go and do this 2k race which obviously you've done like 100 of in the last two weeks so you know you know what you're doing and I remember really vividly kind of having like a bit of a panic attack not a panic attack but just like a little panicky moment like how on earth am I going to be able to do this for these girls um and then I kind of looked up and obviously, I mean, it's different for every Olympics that you go to, but for me, for us, you're right under Christ the Redeemer. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you've got your competitors either side of you. And it just suddenly grounded me. And I was like, this is so cool. You know, yeah. this is the day that I have been waiting for forever. Why am I wishing this away with my nerves? You know, yeah. I'm ready. Like I, I, these girls that I'm racing with are just phenomenal. And I'm going to like, do everything that I can for these guys and and I think it's really important just to take a bit of a moment to kind of take take in what is around you like the the opportunity that you have available um and that is about to, to you know on the starter's orders on that gun you're ready to go um and and I think yeah I I would say back to myself don't wish it away because yeah. sometimes the nerves get on top of you but actually when you when you like have a look around you're like wow this is amazing and I think that's what gives you the impetus to like perform so yeah just take a moment when you're on the start line and I will you do. Will, it will happen yeah. because everyone has nerves but um, yeah. it is something yeah. really special and it definitely calmed me and made me feel a bit more grounded yeah no thank you so much for sharing your experiences it was like it was good to get excited about it and you know, I just can't wait for one day. I'll hopefully be there with you guys or, mm. <laughs> you know, it'll be fun. 